Hey guys, Mike over at Rev6 Engines. We get a lot of calls on our pistons for like ring orientation, which way the arrow faces. Um, so I was gonna help address some of those questions today for you guys. As far as the piston, when you do receive them, you're gonna notice there is gonna be an arrow um, on the top of the piston right here. That's gonna always face towards exhaust side. On most of our pistons for like the Razor 800s, the 900,000s, arrow always points towards exhaust. Couple little tricks when you are installing everything, you'll have a you know a set of circlips. A lot of people will just grab these circlips and just stick them in the pistons and call them good. Uh, you wanna always make sure that they're either pointed in 12 o'clock position or six o'clock position. You never want them here on the side, this way or this way, because what'll happen is that pressure can actually pop the circlip out, cause some pretty catastrophic engine damage. And then as far as ring orientation, you've got a couple ways um, you can actually set them. The way we'll usually set them, you'll have your you have your compression ring, your wiper ring, and your oil ring set. When you guys are installing the, the piston rings, you always wanna start with your wiper ring. You can use a, a piston ring expander to put them on. We, we usually typically will just do them by your hands if you're very careful not to break a ring. So the best thing to do is go ahead and get at that notch, grab it here, and just slowly slide it, slide it on with a lot of pressure until it pops right on there for you. And then what you want to do is you want to have this ring, the opening here, face towards either the front or the back of the piston. It doesn't matter to start with. And then you're going to put on your compression ring. It's going to be the same thing, but you want the compression ring to be the opposite side. So you have your wiper ring facing this way, and then your compression ring is going to face this way, the complete opposite. That way these rings don't actually line up in the engine and cause a bunch of blow by. Next thing is gonna be the same thing with the oil ring. So I'll take a minute to put these on, um, no certain direction. You're just gonna have your three rings here, of course, that's gonna go in the center there. When you have these, you wanna have your one oil ring facing this way, off to the side, and another one facing this way. So you just gotta make sure your top ring is not gonna be facing anywhere near this one. So you want this one on the opposite because you don't want the oil ring lining up with your wiper. And it's gonna be the same thing on the other end. You're just gonna go ahead and have the other ring off to the side like this. Essentially, you're gonna have your wiper ring one way, your pressure ring one way, your oil ring one way, and your other oil ring this way. On as far as this one goes, this opening here, that's really not gonna matter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stick this one in. Orientation really doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that in, make sure the two ends here meet and they're not overlapping. Once you have that in, we're gonna take the first oil ring we're going to go ahead and put this one in first it's going to make it easier to get the bottom one in so we're going to go ahead and put that one in so it should slip right in place that one's going to be in there we're going to set that where it needs to go right here for the opening and we're going to flip the piston and we're going to go the other way so we're going to go ahead the opening's right here we're going to set the opening on the opposite side and then you're going to stick that in the bottom here and just very carefully roll the ring around it back up and that's going to drop right into place there so that's going to be how you're going to set those again the opening here when you have your wiper ring this the wiper ring needs to be opposite of where these two ones are sitting so that way it doesn't line up that's it if you guys have any questions just give us a call um, shoot us a text we're always available